today... Wait, hi guys, it's Talia. What am I doing? I don't even know my own intro. Hey guys, it's Talia. Guess who didn't want to do their hair again? Me! It was me. I don't, I don't want to do my hair. What is in my eye? Oh, that's a reflection of the ring light. That's not something in my eye. <laughs> So today I'm doing a full face of first impressions. Now obviously you guys know I am lucky enough to be on PR lists and get products for free. Every single one of these products was sent to me or given to me at an event. Um, but it's really not going to change my opinion. If I don't like a product, I have absolutely no problem telling you. Companies, you know, if they want to take me off their PR list for saying I don't like their products, that's absolutely fine by me. Like. You know. Uh, that being said, there's a lot of like Too Faced stuff because I went to a Too Faced event recently so there's a good like three or four products. There's quite a bit of Benefit stuff, it's quite a bit of BH. Um, I tried to not, no I didn't really try that hard clearly because there is quite a lot of like one brand products. I do have like a whole chest of drawers over there of stuff that I really want to try so there's still a bunch of new products that I have yet to try and I will be doing these videos more often if you like them so do let me know in the comments if you want to see these more often and give this a thumbs up so I know that it's the sort of thing you like seeing. We're just gonna jump straight into it and also if you don't follow me on like other social media I did shave off like half of my eyebrows. So we're gonna start with my brows so we don't have to look at these little tiny tiny miniature caterpillars on my face and we're gonna go with this hourglass brow sculpting pencil in the shade ash i've not even taken this out of the packet yet oh hourglass is you know a consistently good brand oh okay so this is what the product looks like absolutely stunning um, like packaging I love the way they do this sort of like bronzy shiny metal thing it's really quite heavy it feels expensive um, but I opened it and realized it's one of these sorts of like products let me just wind up the product let's see how much we get that's, that's quite a few brows in there I don't normally like products like this I normally like a really thin tip but if this doesn't go very well then I do have some NYX ones that I've not tried yet so we can just go with those. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. Oh, oh my god why don't I know where my camera zooms like I'm forever zooming the wrong way. But we're just gonna go. Ooh. Hmm. Um, I don't know if you can see here but it like almost draws two lines. I so far. Let me just, I'm just gonna draw a bit on my hand and try and like work the product in. Sometimes you need to like, I don't know, soften it a little bit and just see how it goes. But I'm just gonna go with it now. I don't hate it, I guess, but I'm probably never gonna use it again. Oh wait! No, I have a brow conditioning primer. Oh, let me do that on the other eyebrow and see if it makes a difference. So, we're gonna take the Benefit Brow, Bravo, oh, very clever Benefit, conditioning primer. Now, this is supposed to give you fuller and healthier looking brows. So, we're gonna put this on the other brow and then see if it actually does, okay. It's very difficult to get out of the box. Okay, maybe it's not as difficult as I thought. One click per brow, so you twist it like that and stuff is supposed to come out the top. It's just a rubber applicator. I don't know if you can see that, like, flexible tip. And then you just twist once at the bottom and that is how you get the product out. So we're just gonna twist once. I mean, obviously, when it's the first. Six and a half hours later. Oh! Okay, and then I'm just gonna... Ooh. <laughs> is it more is that kind of working? Because it's a clear product, so I was like, how is it gonna make them look thicker? But... I think that kind of did something. Am I going crazy or did that just work? Okay, well it says to let it dry and then you can use it underneath the brow product. And then I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna use it on the other side. Will you recommend this? I don't know, let me see how much it is first. Hourglass likes to keep their prices up in the bougie range. 29! Oh my God. 30 pounds for a brow pencil. 
Like, I'm <laughs> sorry, but no, no, you don't need to spend eight pounds on a brow pencil. I don't care what anyone says. You do not need to do that. Is this dry? Yeah, that is dry. Draw over the top. Okay, I don't know. You know when you're just not sure if it's like a placebo effect and you're thinking something is better because the product has told you it's gonna work better. But I think it is, no. I, I, okay, do you know what? The more I use this, the more I like actually dislike it. But like no shade to Hourglass because they honestly have some of my favorite products of all time. Like their Mineral Veil Primer, amazing. Their Serum Primer, amazing. Um, like this, even just things like their brushes, I'm flipping obsessed with this brush. Their blushes, I flip in love, their bronzers. Like I really love their face products, like their foundation's amazing. I just don't know. I just, it's too hard. I don't like, I don't like it when it's hard. Let's do eyes. Now, this is an eyeshadow base from NYX. I've never used it. Obviously, this is the first impression, so I don't need to say that every time. It's the HD Studio Photogenic Eyeshadow Base. And it just looks like that. Take out this, and it's kind of like a concealer -y type consistency, so I'm just gonna put this. Mm, okay, I thought I might be able to use this to actually carve out my brows. But no, it's literally just an eyeshadow. And I'm only gonna put that on the left hand side to see if it actually makes a difference. I'm just gonna carve out my brows with a concealer that I know and like. I'm just gonna use the Benefit Boing Concealer just to carve out my brows just because I really don't I don't like how they look. Okay, I think that just makes my brows look so much better. I mean, I still, I still flipping hate them. Okay, right, we're gonna jump into eyeshadow. I have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I've seen this so much on YouTube. People seem to rave about it a lot. But this is what the palette looks like. Great colors. I'm gonna do, what am I gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna take this blue shade here and put that in my crease. Okay, I don't know if you can actually hear that with my sister in the background. Gels! I've gotta call my sister. She's being way too loud for me filming. She's gonna kill me. I'm just gonna put on speaker while I blend this in. Okay, so far that is very pigmented. Like, very pigmented. So pigmented. Wow. I'm gonna go and stain the other eye and see if the primer has made a difference. Don't know if you can tell, but that actually didn't come out as vibrant. Oh, oh my God, I've got one of these. Ah, uh, everyone loves doing that. That is one of the best feelings in the world. Just realized I fully have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm gonna take this, this one here. It looks kind of pink on camera, but it's Definitely purple. Um, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and on my like outer, my outer V. Well, it's very pigmented. So pigmented. Let's see how it is on this side. That primer, 100% makes a difference. Oh, I'm sort of thinking I might just take it off and start again. Can you see the difference? And I'm just gonna forget this eye. I'm gonna take it off, start again, to, and then match it off camera. Um, cause we've established now the primer works and it's better than nothing. Okay, I'm just gonna take this dark purple shade here and I'm gonna put that in my crease and sort of really focus that on the outer portion of my eye. In the purple and I'm just gonna add it right on the outer part. I'm really, really liking this palette. I'm just gonna take this pink shade here, the bright one. And I'm gonna put that in the center. Now I'm just gonna go off camera for a sec and redo this eye and prime it and stuff um, and get it to this point and then I'll be back. I really wasn't in the mood to do a colorful look today, but um, here we are. I'm then just gonna take this like lighter shade here. It's like a white sort of shade. And I'm just gonna pop that on a detailer brush. Whoa, that is hella powdery. I don't know if you can see that. Like, I don't think you can see on camera how much is like coming off. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that on my brow bone. Whoa, okay, it's pigmented though. So pigmented. Damn. We're gonna stick on some lashes. And these, I've tried these before. These are the Danny Beauty Glam Lashes. I flipping love them, they look so good. I'm gonna put wings on my eyes as well. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys out. No! I was like so sure I had it that time. We're gonna jump into primer now. And I have a few different options. So this is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. I've got this um, and I've also got Something else, which is a face primer, I believe. Oh yeah, the the NYX pore filler. And what I'm gonna do is put this all over my face and then just put the pore filling primer sort of in this region here and maybe a little bit on my chin. I'm just gonna tuck my hair. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna hope. That's all I'm gonna do for my hair. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't get in my hair. This is what it looks like. And it's just a 
pump and I'm just gonna pump it into my hand. I'm gonna take, oh, oh, oh. It's kind of weird, like it's kind of moussey. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Feels nice. I think this is one of those primers that dries tacky, not dries, but it like dries tacky. Yeah, dries, that's the word I was looking for. I'm now gonna take the pore filler from NYX. Very bizarre texture. It reminds me a little bit of the pore filler from Smashbox, that kind of texture. Um, eh, don't hate it so far. So far, I don't like it as much as my pore professional. And for foundation, actually a CC cream, and it's from It Cosmetics. It's the Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti Aging Hydrating Serum and SPF 50 Plus Broad Spectrum Physical Sun Cream. <sighs> that was a lot. Okay. This is what it looks like. It comes in this little squeeze tube. I've taken it out of the um, box. So I actually got it a little while ago. I've just never used it. Now this is in the shade medium, which I think will match me. I'm gonna use a sponge on one side of my face and then a brush on the other, just to see how I prefer it um, applied. This is obviously with a sponge. Does it say full coverage? Right, full coverage. So that's what we're expecting. I think I'm gonna like this more with a brush. I'm really not, I'm not hating it, but I'm not really gonna reach for it ever again. I'd call this like a medium coverage. On the other side of my face, I'm just gonna use the Sigma F88. It's just a flat top kabuki. Um, it's a really good brush for blending and foundation. So I'm gonna give that a go. And I'm just gonna squirt out another like two sort of pumps. Thing I will say is because it's like in a squeeze tube, getting product out, like can you see nothing is coming out? Having to like squeeze and then it's just, I really, really don't like the packaging at all. I think I'm getting more coverage with the brush, um, quite honestly, which is very normal because obviously the, the brush is like more densely packed and there's no water on the brush or anything. I'm actually quite liking how this side is looking um, now that it's drying down. Let's see if I can build up coverage on this side. Um, not that I need to, but just so you guys know if it's buildable or not, or if it's gonna start looking cakey. Okay, definitely oxidizes. Only a tiny bit, but it probably oxidizes like a half a shade. You know, actually, I am quite like how it looks. Moving on to concealer. I'm gonna use the Benefit Boing Hydrating Concealer. Um, now, hydrating is supposed to be for like under eyes because obviously you want to be hydrated, but I just don't know how I feel about this because it's this is what it looks like inside. Kind of like a balm, and then inside the balm is a concealer. I just can't see how this is gonna be full coverage enough to want under my eyes. And I always just feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like it's me kind of greasy, but we're just gonna give it a go. It is looking incredibly greasy right now. I'm hoping that obviously that's just because it's hydrating and as soon as I blend it in, it's gonna be like, damn, you slept for like 12 weeks. But let's just see how that blends in compared to the other side. Did that do anything? Maybe? Did it? Did that do anything? I'm just gonna use like a normal concealer on the other side, just so you can see what I would normally do. Yeah, no. I mean, I definitely would never switch to that concealer to be under my eyes. Certainly not, like look at the difference. Um, maybe if you've got really dry skin and really dry under eyes, that might be a good shout because it is kind of greasy. I'm gonna go in now with some powder and I'm gonna use the Peach Perfect uh, Mattifying Loose Setting Powder from Too Faced. I just took it out of the box, it is new. If you don't like that fake peach scent, you're gonna hate all of the range because it's in everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick some of this on my sponge. God, that is. Like, I don't suggest to eat your makeup, but if you do, it tastes really good. Sorry, so I'm just like flew into my mouth and it tastes like peach. I really like this powder and I'm not just talking about the flavor of it because yeah, this would make a great pudding, but that looks so good on the skin. Okay, I'm gonna use this to set my entire face actually. Okay, I like that, I like it a lot. We're just gonna finish off the eyes, I think, because I might as well while I'm here. And I'm just gonna go with the purple, I think. The dark purple and just run that under my eye. I don't have any new mascaras to try, so I'm just using my Too Faced Better Than Sex. Eyes are complete and I'm now gonna jump in to, should I do my blush next? Yeah, so I'm gonna use the NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette, which looks 
like this. I'm gonna mix these two blushes here. Now this one's got a bit of a shimmer, this one's matte. So I think those two mixed together are gonna be really nice. Tap off the excess and just paint that. Okay, really like that. Really, really like that. This is what the blush looks like. Really, really like it. Um, and I'm gonna jump into, oh see this is Too Faced again. I'm sorry guys, there's so much Too Faced in this video, but as I said, I went to one of their events and they gave me like a giant bag full of their stuff that I've actually never tried before because I've not tried that much Too Faced stuff. But this is the very famous Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Oh, looks like this. It's, oh, oh my. Oh, it smells like chocolate. It smells like actual chocolate. I've just heard so many good things about this bronzer. This one is like so popular. I just wanted to see what all the hype was about, see if it's actually worth it. I do really like it. Like, look at the difference in my forehead. I love bronzer. I might have gone a bit too hard on the bronzer. I don't know. Once I put my highlight on, I think it'll be, I think it'll be better. We're now going to move on to highlight. Now this is the Pure Quick Pro Highlight Palette. I'm very excited about this. I don't know if you're picking that up on camera. Right, let me do some swatches. So they are pretty, pretty intense. They look a little bit glittery, which I don't actually mind in a highlight, but I know a lot of people really hate glittery highlights. So let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm gonna go for this shade here, which is called Sultry. And I'm just gonna get that on my brush. And we're gonna see how this goes. Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. It's quite nice, but it's not blinding. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my face with a setting spray and try again and see if it intensifies the highlight. I'm gonna spray my face with my Ofra setting spray just because I know that this works. It's not gonna change the makeup. And I'm gonna dip back in. And I'm gonna just go, yeah, see that makes it a little bit more intense. I make, I went a little bit patchy, I'm not gonna lie. It's not the smoothest of highlights at all. But I did really like it, so maybe it just doesn't work like that. So I wouldn't. Oh god, that's got bronzer on it. I wouldn't um, spray my face and then use this highlight. Last but not least, we're gonna go lips. Now I've got a bunch of BH products here. They're all liquid lipsticks because I wanted to try them. I think. Okay, we're gonna go with the shade Sandy. No, maybe. Actually, is quite comfortable. It started off a bit streaky, but it kind of sorted itself out. So, this is the finished, oh wait, no, we're gonna try the setting spray, even though I've already spread my face. But this is the Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. Interesting, good to know. Infused with peach cream, no, peach and sweet fig cream. Ooh, I just love their packaging. Okay, let's see what the spray's like. Okay, I'm really glad I didn't spray that on my face. Did you just see that? Okay, there we go. But the first one was like a shot out, not like a spritz. What's happening? Oh, it's in my eye. It's really weird. What is happening? I wish you could feel this. Okay, yeah. So let me try it like this. I don't know if you can see that, but it sprays stronger this way than it does this way. So it sprays like this. So this part of my face isn't really get, getting any, it's just kind of getting it in a stripe. I don't know how I feel about that applicator. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Oh. But this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love testing new products. It's one of my favorite things to do. One of my favorite videos to watch is like first impressions. I don't know why. I just think it's so interesting to watch people try products for the first time. So let me know in the comments if you do enjoy these videos and I will do them more often. But that is it from me and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Become a member of this little family thing we have going on at me. So lovely if you join. Also, if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter, then it is just Talia Mar music spelled just like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong. So go ahead and get gone.